Do you get anxious watching the news? You are not alone. We're going to talk all about it. Stay tuned. That's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist to make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And today I want to talk to you about getting stressed out about watching the news. Before I do that, please don't forget to hit subscribe so you get notified and hit the bell so that you don't miss a video that comes out every Thursday. I make videos for people who are struggling with all sorts of things around anxiety or OCD. And today I'm going to talk about one of those really big issues, which is the news. So every time you turn the news on, there is something going on that's really upsetting, but more so in this past year than literally ever before. And that's upsetting to everybody, no matter what your beliefs are. But when you have anxiety or OCD, it's actually worse because our brain is sensitive. And so it takes those images and stories and we feel those struggles. We feel the tension. And when we have OCD, those images can get stuck in our heads. Those thoughts can get stuck in our heads more so than the average person because our filter isn't working the way it should. So how do you protect yourself? Do you hide in a hole and pretend like things aren't happening? I'd like to do that. <laughs> but depending on your age, you know, that's just not possible. So I want to talk about how to protect yourself and still stay somewhat informed. And this will depend on who you are and how informed you want to be. The first step is really tuning into your body and knowing when you've had enough. Sometimes we can get into a black hole of news. We're changing the channel. We're watching different channels. We're reading different things. We're on different um, social media sites. We're getting consumed. And before you know it, you spent hours, if not all day, reading bad news. And your brain is going to get exhausted from that. So be tuned into your limits. If you're starting to feel overwhelmed and stressed, if your heart is racing as you're watching or reading something, your body is screaming at you that it's enough. You know, sometimes we get the information and then we stick around for a long time afterwards when we don't need to stick around anymore. I am so guilty of that. So you can either set a timer so that you're like, I'm going to check the news for five minutes and then I'm done. Or you can get your news in a different way. So if you're a kid, you don't have to watch the news. You don't have to see these things. You can talk to your parent and get the news from them if you're comfortable. If you're a teenager or young adult, then maybe reading the news is better than watching the news. Videos are very traumatizing to an anxious brain because we process that as if it's happening to us. Um, most people with anxiety or OCD is, are very em empathetic and can feel things. And so when you're watching conflict or you're watching people being sick or you're watching really upsetting things happening in the world, you're physically experiencing that and your brain doesn't forget it. So you might want to move to reading the news instead of watching the news. The other thing I want to mention is bringing it back down and grounding yourself. So even if you're like, Natasha, I don't watch the news and I'm still overwhelmed. I got gotcha. you. I totally get it. And there are some grounding techniques that we want to do. And so there's physical grounding techniques of just focusing on your environment. You know, what am I sitting on? Let me look around the room. Those are really good for like panic attacks and um, feeling outside of yourself. And I do have videos on that, but I'm talking about kind of mentally grounding yourself through mindset. And so one thing that I do, because I have an anxiety disorder and I do get very anxious when things are not settled or there's a lot of conflict in the world or a lot of um, unrest in the world or a lot of illness in the world, I feel it, like I feel it in my gut. And so one thing that I do when I'm feeling stressed out is I remind myself what is happening right now, what is happening to me in my world. And then I'll think, okay, I am okay right now. And my house is okay right now. My family, thank goodness, right now, my family is okay. My kids are okay. My husband's okay. Actually, he just hurt his leg, but otherwise he is okay. We're all doing okay. And that brings me some calm. So check in with yourself. Are you okay right now? Are you, you know, sitting on your bed or sitting at your computer and you're, you're physically okay and your, your world is not like literally caving in around you. That can be very grounding to shift that mindset to, to regroup and say, okay, I'm doing okay. Take some breaths, right? Breaths are good. The other thing is some people want to take action. And so 
if it makes you feel better for your anxiety or OCD to, to reach out and help other people, that can feel like you're doing something in the world that's a shining light with all this craziness going on. And so can you reach out to someone who's maybe feeling isolated at their home? And maybe you have like a relative or a grandparent or someone who hasn't, you know, been able to go outside and you might run, write them a note or Skype with them or Zoom with them and see how they're doing. Or maybe you wanna write some uplifting things to other people. Or maybe you want to donate something. Or maybe you're gonna do art and you're gonna share that. I don't know, it's gonna be different for each person. But do something positive to add a little sprinkle of positivity and sometimes that can be really helpful. I know when I feel like I'm doing action and it doesn't have to be related to all the news that's going on. When I roll up my sleeves and I say, I'm gonna make a video today to help other people, it doesn't have to be about the news. I feel better for the rest of the day because I feel like, okay, well, I did something to help. And that's me, that makes me feel better. Or I go and I help people who are raising kids with anxiety and OCD and that makes me feel better. What makes you feel better? Does it feel good to go help some animals, um, to go pet your dog, You know, make your dog feel better? It doesn't have to be fancy, but do something that can shift your focus and make you better. And the last thing I wanna say is you, it's so important to just take care of yourself and your mental health. And it is not selfish or self-absorbed for you to say, whoa, I can't handle all this information coming at me. It's okay. Um, it doesn't make you weak um, or incapable of handling things. Um, sometimes we can add guilt to that and say, what do I have to feel anxious about? You know, like my world is okay. You're allowed to feel anxious. We don't get to choose what our brain gets overwhelmed in. And it's a pretty overwhelming time. So give yourself a break and take care of yourself. What are some things that you can do to help yourself? What are some like self-care things that you can do? What things tend to help you when you're feeling overwhelmed? For me, I really like hot showers. I can sit in hot water forever and feel good. Or like I like to sit in a really cuddly warm bed that makes me feel better. Um, I like to binge on Netflix. What do you do? Do you like to watch a certain show that makes you feel better? Does writing or journaling make you feel good? Do you have a favorite band that you can listen to? It's important that we take kind of an assessment of how we're doing and then take care of ourselves. So many of us are not really clued into taking care of ourselves. We're worried about taking care of other people or worried about just avoiding, avoiding everything around us but our body is you know, building up a stress and then we crumble and we're like, why? So pause and today, what's one thing you can do that's gonna help reset you? What's one thing that you're gonna fill your mind with that's not news, that's not overwhelming, that's going to make you feel better? I want you to focus on that. And no matter what's happening in the world or your town or things around you, it is okay to take care of yourself and it is okay to shut off all those things for a while and reset and say, I'm gonna go draw or listen to music or I'm gonna go pet my dog or I'm gonna go watch Netflix even though it feels like the world is like on fire around me and I'm gonna reset for myself so that my mental health is my number one priority and I hope that you do that. So I will see you next Thursday. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, and leave a comment below and let me know what do you do to take care of yourself? Um, when we read other people's things, what they're doing to take care of themselves, it can give us really good ideas. So leave a comment and let, let me know and I will see you next Thursday. And don't forget to find the sparkle in everything you do. Take care.